Mr. Pearl, though, sometimes in reading your stuff, it sounds like you're talking about raising an animal, though. Like, like, like the, the ideas are the same. Do you view it as the same? The, the rules, the principles, techniques for training an animal and a human are the same. Give you an example. Wait, wait, let me just stop that. So you believe raising a, a dog or a horse, same principles apply to raising yes, a child? Yes, the first principle in training an animal is establish a relationship of trust so that the animal knows you're not going to hurt it. The same thing is true with a child. You establish a relationship of trust. The let second me, me, one is to communicate your will clearly. Let, let me talk to any moms in the audience who agree or don't agree with that. Do you want to say something? Yeah, I yeah just here, just stand up. I'm sorry, I'm a mother of two. I have two beautiful uh, teenage girls and I was not hit as a child. I, I think that you're really creating a society of future abusers. I don't understand how parents, and no disrespect to the parents there, take his book and literally use it as a Bible and raise your children this way. It's, it's disgusting. I, I, I don't understand it. it well, well there, are, other I, folks in the audience, I, I, please. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, the only thing that these hands should be used for is to caress our children and tell them we love them. I just want to make a point that um, often in the field of psychiatry and psychology, we do look at animals and animal behavior. I have never read an article or seen any example in the animal world where animals spank their offspring.